uh, hi viewers uh, today's session is uh, relevant with uh, sap as for hana and uh, uh, we'll see how to create uh, or manage a gl account master data so we'll start with the login process uh, into S SF, uh, sap as for hana and uh, let's log in and uh, this is fury uh, dashboard and uh, there are various apps available here uh, so the role should have uh, uh, z uh, s4c generic role uh, to the current user it should be available in order to uh, create or copy a gl account itself so uh, why we need this gl account in the sample example of uh, this session we will create a gl account for uh, deferred income so let's find out the user which is the current user and then see the rights of that user so this is the current user and uh, we will select the user and uh, and the current role assigned is correct one s 4 c generic role which is required in this case so it is uh, now verified that the correct role is assigned and all the user details are uh, visible here However, if you want additional roles also for any of the tasks in SAP S4 HANA, we can uh, select among existing business roles and uh, then we can perform the exact task which that role is supposed to do. So this is the general uh, ledger accountant role, SAP, SAP EBR GL account. Okay, so this role is now assigned. We'll just save it. We'll sign it out so that again we should be logged in uh, with the uh, same user. Uh, once the role is assigned so we need to log out and log in again So we'll be logged in as a GL accountant here uh, because now the role uh, corresponding role is assigned. In order to deal with uh, GL account master data, this role is required. So we'll locate master data for general ledger and manage GL account master data app here. Uh, once we click it, it will show us various options about GL account master data. That is chart, various chart of accounts will be visible. So here we are. And uh, in this app, uh, we are seeing the filters at the top uh, where we can also search. Uh, uh, search option is available. Chart of accounts field is available. Then GL account by if we want a specific GL account that is also available we will select chart of account which is standard in our case uh, we will select it once it's selected then let's find our deferred income account because we will be copying uh, the same account we will be creating a copy of the same account rather than creating a new account so that's why we will select this deferred income account and uh,
let me select again okay so now this account is selected here in the filters uh, we can press the go button and once it's pressed so the account is visible at the below, uh, below grid uh, we need to select it and once selected we need to click the copy option at the right top top side in order to create the copy of the same account so here we are the dialog box is shown here we can uh, type a new account number to to which we need to copy the values of uh, the selected account of the effort income so we'll type in the new number for this account we'll give some uh, description which is deferred income we then need to select a company code uh, which is 101 in this case Here the description of the company code is selected okay and uh, so that this account is available to only this company code it can also be shared to other companies as well so we'll uh, just press the copy option and it will create the account it is message showing it will just uh, in the process of creating the new account we can see the logs here there is a warning alternative account number in company code 101 here account uh, which is our new number is clear so this this is just a warning but it is also saying that the new account has been created as successful we need to just check whether the account is created so these are just log messages which we need to understand and uh, also review these log messages okay and uh, we'll go back and uh, we'll type in the new name in the filters as we type in so the filtered values are also shown which are available here yeah so here our new account is i will select it and again press the go button and here our new account is We'll just click it so that we can check whether all the uh, other uh, properties or values of the account are uh, quite this copied from the source account. Uh, yes, uh, balance sheet account is the type here and uh, controlling data and where the account has been used in the you know various places, transactions. So here our new account is. Uh, 